Sagittarius, baby, why you so mysterious, boo? What is going on with you, my dears? It is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for Mark. Why am I talking about March? What the fuck did y'all do in March, child? No, ma'am. Baby, this is July, girl. We is not about to do. Uh, uh we ain't about to take it back. Hold up. What the hell was y'all doing off in March? What was you doing in March? Do tell, honey. Okay, do tell. Listen to me. I am in the building. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. Thank you to you, 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 and you. Each and every one of you who has clicked this video, who has liked, shared, and subscribed. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys that has clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed any of my videos at any time. Thank you to every last one of you who has been sending love, light, and support to my page through the Cash App, through the PayPal, through the Amazon wish list, through Book and personal private readings as you can see this 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 and this are all new decks i got my true i'm about to say my true blue but this deck ain't blue it's purple i got my original og purple virtual well i can't talk today during virtue deck during virtue deck Okay, <laughs> that we're going to be using today. And we're just about to get into this because I'm just fipping and fumbling all over my word chat. We ain't even, my body ain't about to embarrass myself no more. So, of course, you know, I always, I always give praise to God. I always give praises to the Creator. Because, again, I don't know who everybody else be praying to. I know who I pray to where I get guidance from, which is Father God, the one and only. So, I'm going to give all praises and recognition to Him because... Like, it's only because of him and his light that I'm able to do this and I'm able to, you know, use myself and use my energy to be able to provide a message for you guys to help you guys receive clarity. And I'm very much thankful for him every day. So, Father God, we just want to give you thanks because, like, we don't even realize how much you literally use us as a vessel, but you do use us every day, Father God, as a source, not only just for our kids, for nourishment, for our friends, our parents, our family members, and just like people that we just cross paths and we don't even know just at times like we just be feeling spiritually moved and guided just to tell someone that they look beautiful today just to put a smile on someone's face just to give someone happiness and give someone else just the state of abundance that we're looking for because you just never know what people are going through in their life and it's like Sagittarius is trying so much to just make sure that we are bringing that life and that abundance and that joy into other people's life the way that we want it to be poured into ours it's like if you give a little you get a lot you know and that's what we're trying to do and just allowing you father god to just use us as a vessel of just you know trying to um in that change in happiness like i feel like i want to say the same thing that i said coming up off of the scorpio reading it's like Scorpio's energy was more so of I don't give a fuck about your happiness bitch I'm about to just tell you what it is because you need to change <laughs> you know how Scorpios are but the Sagittarius has more of a people pleaser finesser approach you know like you guys are not going to really truly tell someone something that is going to hurt their feelings like a Scorpio would but you guys would give them truth with a gentle hand you know what I'm saying and allowing people to walk away feeling good and with a smile on their face I'm not saying that a Scorpio don't give a damn about people smiling but sometimes Scorpios just don't we just, <laughs> just don't we just don't we just want y'all to hear the truth and let the truth set you free and if you don't let it set it free we don't give a fuck okay so <laughs> Sagittarius give a fuck so Y'all, we about to get into this energy. Father God, I just thank you so much for just... And then, yes, and again, if y'all new to my page, I cuss and I pray. And I pray, and God, keep me blessing and, and, and heavily covered still. So, you know, it's about relation. It ain't about no cuss words. It's about you relating to the message. So, if you guys have a problem with the fact that I cuss in my videos, even sometimes when I'm talking and I'm praying, y'all know what to do. And I peace be with you but father god i just want to just give you thanks for just everything that you're doing 
to and through us, Father God. Continue to just push your message through us and use us as a vessel of just happiness and joy. And we're going to continue to be polite in our experiences because we want polite experiences coming back to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, Saggy, let's get into this, girl. Let's get into this, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do like from the eggs and ham. We do like something a little bit different, Sagittarius. Is that right? Am I right here? We do like something a little bit different than what we normally would be approaching around the seasons. Ooh! Wow. Cleanse and detoxify. And what do you desire? Hmm. You guys are going a clean way. You guys are cleaning things up. You guys are using your broom as your tool and you are sweeping away old dust. Okay, because that creates breathing problems. Don't nobody got no time for no pulmonary issues. We ain't got no time for no dust and no clutter and no filth. Okay, so cleansing and detoxifying you guys. You guys might be really, really trying to like pull back from smoking pull back from unhealthy eating habits um you guys might be doing a self cleanse you know what them little nasty ass teas that you drink and be having you sitting on the toilet for a few days yeah y'all y'all doing that shit again i really do feel like right now you guys are really trying the natural approach you guys are just like being very generous to the universe right now you guys may be giving um, flowers to people, planting flowers, picking flowers. You guys, I, I really, why I just feel like you guys are like giving gifts to people. I, I feel like you guys are just dropping off like, it's just genuine thoughts of just happiness that you think that you can express to give to someone else to make them smile or whatever. Because I feel like it's like the things that you are desiring in your life right now. It's like, I can't give it to myself wait no i can't expect the world to give it to me until i give it to myself and right now you're giving it to yourself by making other people feel happy because it's like you're desiring for someone to come into your life and give you the love and attention and the warmth that you're giving other people you want that to be given to you so it's like regardless of what it might have happened in the past it's like you're not allowing that shit to taint you where you were not in a place where you are receptive to what people are trying to give you and that you're not going to continue to give good blessings to other people it's like you're focusing on what you desire and it's like you desire a natural generous dose of happiness you know what i'm saying and you are giving a natural general genuine dose of happiness into the universe so that you can receive it back it says what you now have is the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you are ready and deserving of them they will rush into your life as if it's magic so the key word here is once you realize that you are truly deserving of it and the true thing that you need to do to ensure through your life skills and through your own self-awareness and abundance to make sure that you're deserving of it. It's something that you're going to have to detox and get rid of in your life. It might just be an old habit of you subcoming and giving your natural abundance and your golden grace to something that is truly not deserving. And you might, listen, detox don't have necessarily something to do with food or, you know, it could be a source of energy that you're having to detox yourself from. It could be a source of negative energy that you're having to detox yourself from. Even though you don't even like it and you're not satisfied with it a lot, you, you can still be giving yourself to it. And it could be hard for you to let go of a source of energy that isn't necessarily a positive energy. And you may need to cleanse and detox that away from you. It says, with great love and respect, we ask that you detoxify your presses and sensitive body okay let me leave that there at your request we help you to develop life's affirming ways to deal with the stress as well as ease away any sorrow that sheds your old lord jesus i can't fucking read hold on rewind selector it says cleanse and detoxify with great love and respect we ask that you 
detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you develop a self-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrows at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, your worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of a newly purified body. Again, it's saying it's something that you are holding on to. That you still give your attention, your time, and your admiration to. That you should not be. You need to focus on what you desire. You need a more natural and pure body. Like, I even want to say you guys need to stop having sex with someone that is putting toxins into your spiritual pool. You got to understand everything that you receive on a spiritual level. And sex is most definitely a spiritual level. Everything that you receive leaves something with you. You can't allow. Un and I'm going to say it unholy. You know what I'm saying? And I say unholy in the sense that it is not. It's not replenishing. It's not helping. It's not nurturing your vessel. So that's why I'm saying it's an unholy thing. It's something that is going to contaminate your pure vessel. And your vessel needs to be clean and pure right now. Because what you are desiring is something that is natural. That is something pure. It's something that comes with harmony without question or strife. And you cannot get that if you are not naturally taking care of yourself by allowing unnatural things to penetrate your life force. Do you understand? You got the steer right here. Alright? You got the steer right here. This is the high priestess. Do you understand? So again, you have to pay attention to the ingredients that you were stirring in the pot. Because again, with the high priestess, with everything that she knows, she damn sure knows what you put out you get right back. So if you keep allowing something to taint your very essence, your dream, your life source, you know, you can't question the things that are coming back to you. You can't question why things are like this. You can't question why your fruits are spoiled. Do not introduce a substance, an energy, or just anything to your pure environment that would taint it. And with this steer cart here, it's like someone is practicing. I don't know if you like are practicing um I feel like someone is trying to be a practicing spiritual practitioner or something like that. It's like you're trying to adhere to some type of spiritual way of being like a lifestyle, a group of, you know, I really do feel like that. It's like you are trying to go within yourself and take all of the inner knowledge that you have obtained throughout the years. And it's like you're trying to, with your high priestess energy, trying to bring forth this magic to bring to life something of a spiritual essence that's going to be abundant and very giving to you. So it could very much so be that someone is a practitioner of the magical arts, the occult or something like that. Like that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, but it's like in order for you to be a high priestess, or something of that level, or to even if it's a beginning um, high priestess, you have to cleansify your vessel. You can't, you can't be allowed. You have to be cleansed. Bottom line. And it's like, what do you desire? It's like, if you want to go upon this path and you want to do this, you have to clean your vessel. You can't keep doing the things that you were doing. And I want to say it has something to do with. Sex. It's like you allowing someone to taint your body through sex. Listen, Zero, the Wanderer, you know, it's like I want to say like you can't continuously be a wanderer. You have to commit to this faith through this tradition, to, through this practice. And it's like you got to figure out what it is that you really want. Like, do you want to continue to wander or go along your way and 
skip along your path, moving on faith, or do you want to study and pay attention and practice this and, and train in regards to this faith, this religion, this practice? I really do feel like it's someone in some like type of spiritual practice. And it's like, I want to say the wanderer means like the fool. It's like you can't have a wanderer in mind. It's like in order to do this, you have to be focused. You have to be committed to it. So it's like, what do you desire? Do you really desire to do this? Do you really desire to, to study and to practice and to uplift yourself and to give yourself to this spiritual commitment? Or do you want to continue to be a wanderer? What is this? The Ten of Vessels, the happiness in the reverse. So, and then you got the Nine of Bows. I'm sorry, but this man look crazy. Than him. He look crazy as fuck. Be crazy. So, listen, that's what I'm going to tell you right here. Um, it's something about a lack of balance in a, in a family, uh, the Ten of Vessels, this means it's like some type of emotional divorce that you had to walk away from. It has everything to do with your family, kinship, and things of that nature. I don't even use the word kinship, but that's what the hell they're saying to me. Um, it's like, we may be related by kinship. But we're not related by blood. So I have to defend. It's like you have to set up a boundary with someone. And again, this says respect. It says respect. Putting your foot down and regardless of the kinship, you're not my blood. You understand? So... I don't have time to keep jumping down this rabbit hole, wandering, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with you. Like, it's like with the steer, I already know the steer has information that other people are not privy to. You understand? So it's like, it's no room for a wandering mind. Do you understand? And I understand that the faith card, that that means someone going off on faith and everything like that. And they're, they're you know, diving into their spiritual practice and stuff like that. I get that. But at the same time, what this is saying, we don't have time for a wandering mind. You need to get over whatever this breakup, this divorce is. You have to stop being self-serving to that. You understand? Because... You continuing to wander upon that path to go back there to see if you can repair things and blah, 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 blah. You're only hurting yourself. And you're only tainting your spiritual pools, which you need. We need a clear vessel. We need a clean vessel. And it's like you have to make the decision to get over this and decide what you really want, what you really want to do. Do you want to be blessed with these spiritual gifts? Do you want to be blessed with the tools? Do you want to be blessed with the knowledge that we're trying to give you? Or do you want to continue wandering around? Keep going and search towards something that already shown you several times before that it's not going to obtain the level of happiness that you truly deserve. So do you want to focus on the information that we're giving you? Because the, the steer is alone. The high priestess is alone. She's not someone that is committed or that's in a relationship. Do you understand? She's focused on her study. She's focused on learning. Do you understand? She has a higher path. She has a higher meaning to this world than just giving herself to a fucking relationship and to a goddamn marriage. Do you understand? Her gift is to educate and it's to help people on a spiritual level. Do you understand? It's to push people to... Look within their self to find their own abundance and their own. Do you understand? So it's like I don't have time for someone that's going to continue to wander to things to continue to show them that is going to give them unhappiness. I mean, you going to put your boundary up and you going to not only make people respect you, but you need to respect yourself. You need to stop crossing that boundary and stop wandering the fuck around and keep jumping out there like the fool, jumping out on faith. Keep running back to see if something is going to change it's not and you have to detox yourself and you have to decide 
and just and de you have to decide what you desire and what you truly want and what you truly want to give to do you want to continue to give yourself to something that it's like you playing with your own fate here as above so below the seer the high priestess she understands that what you listen to <laughs> the mirror oh god Okay. And let me look in here just to make sure. Because I. Let me make sure that I know what the fuck this shit is. Hold on. The hangman. I already knew that shit. I already knew that shit. Listen. The hangman in the reverse. You got to pay attention. Listen. And you could be dealing with a Pisces. Because I see this octopus and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm getting like. I'm getting like, I am getting Pisces, I'm getting water sign, I'm seeing this octopus, this, this, you know, this sea creature. It's like someone having to like, and you see the crystal ball right there, you know, that's, that's, to me, that represents the source, that represents source. It's like having to really dig deep within your emotions because you got to think about it the octopus they swim in the deepest darkest parts of the ocean and most water signs in order to if you've ever been hurt by a water sign it's a deep dark fucking situation you know what i'm saying it can take you to somewhere deep so it's like releasing yourself from being hung up on this you understand Going to something where it just is a constant reminder of a breakup, a divorce, of something that was supposed to give you happiness that it never became. And you keep allowing this to resurface in your life. It's like and not allowing it, not putting that boundary up and respecting yourself and not crossing that boundary. It's like I don't even want to look over there. I don't even want a reminder of that because what I'm trying to have resonate in my life is happiness is joy i want a clean slate i want to do you know what i'm saying is i can't do that if i keep wandering and skipping back over there thinking i'm gonna go over there one day and see sunshine fairy tales and rainbows and shit it's not you only a fool will keep doing that you have to detach yourself and i feel like god is giving you the chance to see for the last and final time Okay? The mirror, your reflection. Every time that you go wandering back and you go skipping back to that thinking that you're going to find happiness, it's just a reflection of how dark and deeply rooted that this situation is for, for you and that you truly need to look at the mirror. Look at the man in the mirror and look at your reflection. Is it reflecting happiness? No! So it's time for you to finally see things for what it is. Release, cleanse, and detox yourself of that. And really ask yourself, what do you desire? What do you aspire? And place that. But even if you look crazy. You understand? Even if you look crazy. But motherfuckers going to put some respect on my name. You understand? You not about to cross that boundary with me. And I ain't even coming over there looking at you. I'm about to release myself from being hung up on this situation. Because I don't like my reflection. I don't like my reflection and I don't like what I'm seeing. Do you understand? This situation has taken me to a dark place where I'm starting to question myself as to why the fuck I keep wandering back. And that's why I feel like the steer is there. It's like, what is the secret, God? Why do I keep wandering? What, what, what am I going there to see? What am I going there to see? The only thing I see is an unhappiness and I see that... This is not the truth. You understand? This is not the truth of what my life reflects. I want happiness in my life. This is not good enough for me. So let me respect myself. Let me guard myself. Let me armor myself. I don't give a fuck if I look like a crazed, untamed beast. That's what I'm going to do because motherfuckers is not going to keep crossing that boundary with me. And I'm going to stop playing with myself wandering into a place of unhappiness. Do you get what I'm saying? What do you truly want? And it seems like what you truly want is to get down off of the shit that you hung up on. You want to detoxify. What is it? Star seed. You know that you have something deep in you that is greater than all of this. With this uh, with this high priestess energy here, the stair, you know that you're a star seed. You know that you have a spiritual gift that you need to use. That's what God put you here for. So you cannot 
be a wanderer. You have to dedicate yourself to this. And really dedicate yourself to cleansing yourself of this thing that's been tainting you for far too long. It's time for you to lay down the law. And make motherfuckers respect your boundaries. Star seed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant love and light. Do you understand? It's time for you to cleanse and clear your vessel. It's time to get down off of this old shit that we be hung up on. And it's time to enact change. In a clean environment. So that all the true blessings that are meant to you. That can truly come to you. Can come to you. God will never send you. A new dish on a dirty plate. You know? God will never send you a new dish, a new food. You know what I'm saying? A new meal on a dirty plate. Like, why would he do that? Yoko Ono, hold on. It's your booty, okay? And your beauty, girl. Listen. Yoko Ono says, yes, it's always the answer. Love is performance art that takes place among the clouds. Love is not a dream. You can remember it if you want to. So what this is saying, baby? Listen, do you see your pussy is platinum and laid in gold, bitch? Do you understand what I'm saying? Love is a form of art. You can remember it if you want to. So what I'm feeling like right now is like, I don't know if you guys are in a place where it's like, it's like you have this heart around your neck but you see how she's smoking a cigarette i feel like it's, a, it's like i feel like there might be a thing where there's a lot of sex going on without love um i really do feel like there's a lot of sex going on without love the wanderer the fool you know i i really do feel like it's something about you needing to clean your vessel i feel like this is someone that is burnt out I feel like this 10 uh, vessels in a reverse, how it's just tainted your happiness. I feel like you ain't been right since and something about you not thinking. You, you haven't been right and you haven't been thinking healthy since. You got to figure out what you want to do. You want to continue wandering and floating on and just allow it. Oh, are you really going to dedicate yourself to what you know is right? You know what I'm saying? You can't just allow anything. And, and I'm serious. I really do feel like it's like aimless sex. It's just sex without emotion. Sex without passion. Sex without feelings. You know. Yes is always the answer. But no needs to be the answer sometimes. Love is performance arts that takes place amongst the clouds. And it's like. You are a star seed. You saw a little bit higher than the clouds. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're a fucking star. Stop leveling yourself at a cloud level where you in some type of fixation or dream or illusion. And it's like, I feel like this is someone that it's like you're getting excited about the thought of sex but not the thought of love and that's not that's not truly where your vibration is and i do feel like it's like i do feel like it's this crazy wall that you put up with people but not with the people you should be putting like the person that you keep wandering back to that's the one that you should be feeling attacked by that you need to reinforce you know, um, a sturdy boundary with. And that's not the one that you, that's the one that you keep wandering to. And I feel like that shit is tarnishing your vibration. It's like you've put yourself in a place where it's like sex is like normal to you. Love It's like an imagination. It's like you don't even believe in that shit anymore. And I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And. Yes, it's always the answer. I feel like, in I don't know, I feel like in regards to sex and things like that, it's like, why not? Fuck it. Let me just go ahead and do it. Because it just gives me a temporary moment of pleasure, you know? And it's saying love is not a dream. You can remember it if you want to. Like, if you want to remember how to love, you can. With the high priestess, the, the steer right there, there is someone that's by herself, but she's wanderer. She's a wanderer. The... Steer can hold secrets, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, 
What do you desire right now? Like, are you really trying to manifest happiness? Or do you got this crazy boundary up with yourself where you still hung up on old shit where it's like you're not vibrating on the level and it's like you're just having aimless sex and I just I really just don't like that y'all like again again the two of swords so it's like having this battle within yourself where you're indecisive about who you're going to choose like you could be in a situation where you might have two different lovers and it's like you're having a hard time choosing which one is best fit to be in your life and I feel like you kind of don't want to choose who's best fit to be in your life I was saying something about like I felt like multiple lovers I definitely feel like this is someone that has two different lovers again the three of cups in the reverse is definitely a third party relationships thing here it's like you know I feel like at first it was fun like entertaining these two individuals but now it's just become a mess I really do feel like right now it's become a mess. I want to say one of these people is someone that you divorced with. You're still having sex with someone that you had a divorce with. And you need to set up a boundary with this person. Because I feel like this person brings you a whole bunch of, of, of unhappiness. And there's definitely someone else that is coming to your life. And it could be trying to change your world. But it's like you, you need to... Cleanse yourself of things that are not worthy of you and focus on what is worthy of you because you're only playing yourself. And all of this stuff is going to, that once was a celebration, that once was fun, is going to come crashing to an end. You can remember love if you want to. Love is not a dream, but you have to remember how to love. And I feel like because someone hurt you, you're just wandering and you're not even realizing that you're mirroring the same negative energy that once hurt you you have to get down from that because there's someone that's sitting here that's clearly fighting for you but you're not fighting for it because you keep wandering to something else and you're not realizing that you are literally becoming the same energy that hurt you you know you can remember love if you want to it's not a dream you have to rise the vibration of the planet through your radiant love and light, baby. Do you understand what I'm saying? The four of wands in reverse. Like I said, another divorce, another four. It's like broken foundations, honey. Do you understand what I'm saying? Two fours. It's broken foundations, honey. That divorce fucked you up. It made you to the point where you don't believe in love anymore. And I feel like you've had a long hibernation period for you to kind of get yourself together. But it seems like you may need a little bit more time because you are becoming exact. You are what you eat. And if you continue to introduce yourself to this toxic goddamn stream of water. Listen, to this, you keep drinking from this toxic stream of water. You're going to become the very fucking thing that hurts you. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, please set a boundary up because now you are someone that doesn't deserve to be hurt you're doing to this person what that person did to you you need to make a choice you need to make a choice this is not a play thing do you understand these are someone's emotions here these are someone's emotions someone's emotions and it's like the celebration is over you need to think about all of the lessons that you've learned in this lifetime so that you can really change, so that you can and not change in your life. It's time for you to get down off of this lesson. Do you understand the hangman in reverse? It's time for you to get down off of this lesson so that you can move into the future. But someone wants to still hang here because they still want to go wander over here as if it's something that's going to bring them some type of blessings and it's not. You know better. Throughout your spiritual practices and your belief system, that you know better. And that's why God is telling you, like, you got to make a fucking decision about this. Either you going to cleanse and... What, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do, Yoko Ono? The king of chalices. They want the king of chalices. So, again, like, I really do feel like whoever this water sign man is that this person is chasing after... I still feel like someone is very much so hung up and still having sexual interactions with someone that they need to be placing at a safe boundary, a safe distance. That's a secret that's going on here that you holding on to that you still be wandering back over there. But motherfuckers know. Ain't nobody stupid. People know. And if you're going to use yourself like that to just be some booty, 
and you completely forget about what love is and you hurting other people the same way other people hurt you and continue to hurt you, you know the karma that you are stirring. You're, you notice the karma that you're stirring in this pot. At the end of the day, you cannot give a fuck about nobody and you're wandering and you want to do what you want to do. But you know what you put out, you get right back. Even though you might be acting like a fool, you're not a fool. You know exactly what you're doing. And you know when karma come to hit your ass. You know that you won't deserve that shit. So again, if you keep going back to that unhappiness. And you are not putting your safe your, your place at a safe distance to set of boundaries. You better get yourself to motherfucking. You better get yourself prepared. Because when all that shit come back at you. You better be prepared to fight. This is a card of someone defending their self. And you're going to have to fight for that honor and that respect. Because you weren't respecting other people. You were wandering. You ain't want to get down. You have to think about what you desire. Are you ready for this? Are you truly ready to get down? Or you like to stay at the bottom of the ocean? You like to stay in this place of darkness? The very source that you're asking... You need to ask again, and you need to, before you ask, you need to ask yourself. All right? So I got to go. What do you desire? What do you want? Okay? I'm gone. Peace.